James Reese Europe, the first ones to bring jazz to, to France during the First World War. They fought during the war as soldiers. Carnegie Hall, 1912, and 150 musicians, 10 pianos. He, he was the creator with uh, Irene and Vernon Castle uh, of the Foxtrot. So he was an amazing figure. And he got musicians to, to join the U.S. Army during the First World War. And they, they fought the Germans during the day. They were decorated by the French Army. And they brought this music the French had never heard before that we call jazz. So a very important figure. So what we do with our music is to let the people know that this music is, is, is our culture. It's not just music. It's our culture. It's our way of life. And to understand it better, we have to go back as far as we can to understand what we have, where it comes from. In other words, we're standing on the shoulders of our ancestors. I mean, they were very close. Noble was a great singer. Noble was a sergeant in the army with, with James Reese Europe, you see. U.B. Blake was also, that, that generation was very powerful people because they created something that never happened before, you see. So for me, that's our royalty, yeah. We're very lucky because, you see, going back to the, our parents again, our mother and fathers, they, they're the ones who took us to here, Duke Ellington and Count Basie and Billy Holiday. They would bring spirituals in the house. We studied European classical music on the piano. They would bring calypso. So our parents, growing up in Bed-Stuy and Brooklyn, not just my, only my people, but they would bring all kinds of music. So they weren't in categories like today. He said, all the music is ours. So we go to Palladium and hang out, had to be in a black church every Sunday, had blues bands on the corner, but that was all us. You see, because they knew it was all our music, you see. And they were wonderful, and that's, that's the, our foundation. Plus, they made me take music lessons, my dad. You see, so they gave us a beautiful foundation. In addition, despite all the racism against our people, they kept us very spiritual. Well, Duke Elton, he, he had an orchestral concept on the piano. The piano was an orchestra for him, you know. And, and so everything came out of that piano. So he was, a, he was a great pianist. I have some 1928 Duke when he's playing stride piano, but he changed his way of playing to accompany the orchestra. He was the most uh, amazing human being uh, I've ever encountered. And not only his music, but everything he did, everything he wrote, you heard the blues underneath. And the blues is the language of African people, you see? And plus, Duke, like basically that generation, the music they wrote, were telling stories of how our ancestors lived. Our joys, our sorrows, our funerals, our dance. They were wonderful because they were truly storytellers. And Ellington was a master. And the musicians in his orchestra, phew, everybody. <laughs> the best. I heard her first with Dizzy Gillespie. She, I heard her with Dizzy's band in the early 50s. And she wrote uh, an arrangement on My Reverie. And she was featured on trombone. And I heard her, looked at her, it's the magic. And we worked together until she died. She was an amazing arranger. And she wrote music for everybody. But she took my music and expanded it, you know, and created a lot of colors. Great, great master arranger.